Today we try our best to clean up the interior of our NX2000. Welcome back to the Auto Obsessive Garage, Chadwick with you again for another episode of Project NX2K. That's our 1993 Nissan NX2000. And today guys, we're gonna put some effort into that interior. We need to clean it up. We need to touch up some items. The shift boot, the dash has a crack. It's dirty in there, smells a little funky. And some other small odds and ends, but you know, everything we can do, right? So let's get in the garage and get a little dirty. At over 30 years old and 180,000 miles, I'm not at all let down by the interior of the NX. It does need some things to be addressed though. Uh, a deep cleaning, obviously, perhaps some new floor mats. These are the originals, which are awesome, but they're just, they're ratty, kind of detracting at this point. Uh, we do have a little crack in the dash right there, so we'll try to fill that as best we can in an amateur style. The shift boot, if we come down here, pretty roughed up, guys, look at this. So, uh, definitely detracts. We'll clean that up and then, besides those items, we just have to do some general, you know, homekeeping items, cleaning, deep carpet cleaning, cleaning all the seating surfaces. This cloth probably has a little bit of gnarly sauce in it from uh, decades of use and abuse. So, we've got some work to do. Let's freshen up the interior of our NX2000. I've got some of this plastic putty, which I like to use for jobs like this. It's not perfect. It's not going to look flawless, trust me, but it will fill that crack in. Kind of helps prevent it from cracking further too, so that's always a plus. Let's go ahead and put this product in our little cracky crack and get that looking maybe a little better. Now you definitely don't want to over apply this stuff because obviously it'll be uh, quite a mess to clean up. we got some other small cracks I'm noticing up there too, so Let's see what we can do here. I'm making sure to fill that crack on my finger. Uh, and afterwards I'm gonna, after it dries of course, we'll go ahead and sand it down. And after that, we'll go ahead and try to get some paint mixed up. That matches this dash. Yeah, of course it looks pretty hideous right now. It's like a, basically I just put highlighter on that crack, but it'll dry. We'll paint match it guys, it'll come out okay. Here's a detailed shot of our nice little crack. You can see it's all filled in with that perfect putty. We'll go ahead and let that dry, sand it down a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and color match that as best we can to the trim of the dash here, the same color, same sheen, and it should be able to blend in pretty good. Not look like a giant crack. So far we've done a great job of highlighting that crack in the dash. Now it's time to get some paint on there, kind of blend it in as best we can. Trust me, this thing won't disappear, but we can make it look a little better than that. Let me show you what the plan is. Here's the plan. We're gonna grab these cans of vinyl and fabric spray. One of them's gloss, one of them's kind of more of a matte finish. And that should balance out to uh, kind of like a semi sheen that you get on an interior like the dash and the NX. So we've got a kind of medium gray and a gloss black. Gonna try to spray those into the same container, mix them up, brush them on with a hand brush, and get as close as we can. So, eh, arts and crafts today in the Auto Obsessive Garage. Let's try it out. Now obviously it looks way worse than before, but we got the paint color pretty dang good. It only took me about five or six tries, honestly, but it's on there. You're still gonna see a little bit of that line, that little crease, because we didn't fully sand everything down. But what I'm gonna do is let that paint dry. It's really shiny now because it's still wet, but once that dries up, we're gonna hit it with some 800 grit sandpaper, kind of dull it a little bit, and then kind of sand it, kind of blend it into the surrounding. But as you can see, there isn't a crack there anymore, really. Now it's time to get this old shift boot out of here. So with this, it's pretty easy. You just kind of yank the cord on this whole section here, and you can do it one-handed here. Boom, that all comes up. Now obviously we gotta take off our shift knob here. 5,000 twists later, shift knob off, 
should be able to pull the old boot right up. So here's the uh, shift boot and its whole assembly. You flip it over, there's these white tabs kind of holding another piece to it, and that kind of sandwiches the actual shift boot. It looks like someone's been in here before. These tabs do look broken off. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can actually just pull the shift boot right through, and that's how it's connected on this one here. So I don't know if my new shift boot actually has, it's not an OEM replacement, it has these little holes here, so we might have to punch some holes in these exact spots, but let's take this old one out and use it as a blueprint for where to punch our holes. There we have it, kind of stretched over. That's the plastic piece there. And I'll probably clean all this action up. Here's our new shift boot, looking pretty good. It does not have any holes on it, so that's not cool. We'll have to line up with the other one, punch some new holes, and then I'll lay it over that other template piece. Here's our new shift boot attached to that plastic template piece. You can see underneath I folded everything over, so it's going through these nice little pegs. Now we'll put it through the other section and somehow probably use some adhesive to get it to stick, but looks pretty good. Should function. Got our shifter boot attached back on there. I actually used some Gorilla Glue and some little pieces of rubber and held them down on there to provide kind of an anchor since it was modified before from the previous owner, I guess. But this should hold together pretty good. Looks pretty nice. Let's see if it fits and if the shifter throws are good and don't rip up my new leather boot. So let's install it in the car. Pretty easy here, just kind of slides over and then it kind of clips under that front part and then there's clips. I'm gonna hold that down. That looks pretty sharp, guys. Cool, I can go through all the gears without the boot ripping up. A little tight there, but not horrible. Boy, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? And we'll screw our little knob back on. And there we go, guys. Check this out. That is looking incredible compared to before. It's still a massive <laughs> shifter for sure, but that looks great. Awesome. Job complete. Here we have the center armrest for our NX2000. It's looking, yeah, looking just like this. So even though it's small, it does look pretty crappy in the interior. So let's take care of this. We're gonna use some 800 grit sandpaper, kind of get some of this old material off, kind of smooth it out a little bit, nothing too aggressive here. Then we'll rub it down with some isopropyl alcohol and spray it with some new fabric paint and kind of make it look like the rest of the interior. Can't get worse than this, right? Let's sand her down. Now we're not using a power sander here because you don't want to make this smooth. It's supposed to have this texture on it and all we're doing is kind of getting off some of the flaking material that would cause the new paint not to stick and this will promote adhesion of the new paint too as we rough up the surface. So that's all we're doing here. Don't flatten this thing right out to shininess because then it'll look really bad in there. Alright. I mean obviously there's going to be some sections there where there's less Texture worn off over time, you know, 30 something years. Get our 99% isopropyl alcohol, that should do the trick. Clean microfiber. I want to get all our dust out of there. Now, since this is kind of a soft, pliable material on this little center armrest, we're going to give it a lot of time to dry with this alcohol in here because obviously paint would hate this. We tried to spray it right now, so let's just let that cure up for a little bit, dry out, and we'll hit it with some paint. I'm gonna hit it with some gloss black first, just to hope that it shines through the gray, just to make it a little darker. And we'll let that charcoal gray dry, and it should look pretty good. There's our center armrest, refreshed, looking a little better than it did before back in place. It's the little things that count, right? Time to vacuum these gnarly old floor mats. Time to vacuum this interior on the NX. <laughs> Haven't done it since I've owned it, so that's five years. Let's go ahead and do it. Sweet. 
so much cleaner now. Look at this. This carpeting looks fantastic in here. It's, you know, those old mats were kind of raggedy, but they really protected it in here. And that looks great. And what's up with this early 90s Nissan carpeting? It's like really plush. Uh, really deep pile is the industry term I'd like to use. Just like my 300ZX Twin Turbo was. So yeah, we're looking good in all the right spots here. Looking fantastic. All right, nice and clean. Can't forget to vacuum out the giant trunk area. The interior of our NX2000 is really coming together quite well. Uh, pretty clean in here. Now the seats do need a deep cleaning. There's some questionable staining here in the back. It's not too bad, honestly, for an early 90s car with pretty high mileage. So let's just focus on some of these stain areas and clean it up. We'll do this back bench first and then we'll do the front. Gonna hit it with a little spot clean action. You can use whatever. Just kick it around. <laughs> I don't really have a preference. Whatever spot cleaner I have, I'll throw it on there first. Kinda hit these nasty areas. I give kind of a general how you doing all over the seats here. Let that sit for a little while. And then we'll get ready with our next weapon. Well, we can actually do these front seats too. At the same time, why not clean them up? This car doesn't smell too bad in here. Sometimes these older cars have a little musty smell. Uh, this one's not too bad at all. We'll do that. It's nice clean floor mats too, why not? And then we'll do the driver's seat, but come back to these stains on the bucket seat with our next weapon. That weapon is my nice little Bissell Spot Clean Pro. Freaking love this thing for doing cars. It's easy to carry around. Fill it with piping hot water, put some cleaning solution in there, and yeah, have a fun afternoon, <laughs> if you will. So let's go ahead and get in the back seat and the rest of the car and steam clean that interior. Let's take a look in our back seat of the NX, and man, Check it out back here, guys. Look at these seats. They actually have a cool color to them. It's a little pattern, some bright blues, a little lighter blue, sorry, mixed in there. And they lightened up a lot overall. And you can see that now. Incredible. Everything's clean back here. Looking pretty dang good. Not bad condition for that much mileage. Let's take a look at that interior dirty water after cleaning out the NX. Mm -mm. Mm, nice and thick, nice and dirty. It's actually a lot more dirtier than I thought, so yeah, all that's out of the car now. It smells a bit less musty and a lot more fresher in there, and I like that.